from North Babylon. Town of Babylon. It's funny that it's called Babylon, you know what I'm saying? Check that. Babylon. Some of the baddest MCs in the world came come from Babylon. Starting with Wine Dance, one of the best of all time. Rakim, Amityville, De La Soul, Brentwood, EPMD, Brentwood, K Solo, Bayshore, Bismarck E, North Babylon, Freddie Fox, North Babylon, John Shaft Psychopath, John Shaft Psychopath, John Shaft Psychopath, today known as <sighs> Oxygen. The list goes on and on and on, y'all, including me, one of the DJs who did come up and still kicking it. Town of Babylon, Long Island, Strong Island, you know what I'm saying? Land of innovators, no doubt. El, El Cool J, he claims Queens, but he had this moment on Long Island. I need a beat. LL's first track in the hit. Should I tell the other, the sad side, or should I just leave the happy side? <laughs> I'm gonna tell the sad yeah, keep going. side. So this punk ass, <laughs> my man, I was all happy. I was in California, and I reckon I came out. This was 83 or 84. And the track came out, and it hit. The first time I heard it, I knew it was him. I knew it was him, and I was really happy for the brother. And then I had came home August, or September of 84 and I went to Roseland because he was performing there and all I do is remember it was him, Houdini and a bunch of others it was like yeah amazing set and at the end of the show I was there with my man from Philadelphia he goes by the code of Mr. Precise and we were standing very up front of the stage and Todd saw me and he was like, Pat? I was like, yo, what's up? I mean, look at, oh, what's up, man? The stage is up there. Like, yo, what's up, y'all? And he's like, yo, come on stage. This was the end, not during his set. It was like after, and all these, it was kind of chaos on stage. And he's like, yo, come on stage, man, come on up. And me and my man, we went on up stage, and we was just like, you know, party and party and party and party. And then I was like, yo, Ty, give me your digits, man. We got to hook up. And he said, well, man, you know, I'm in California sometimes, and other times I'm in New York, and I don't really know where I'm staying. And, I, and my boy was like, oh, what's up with that? I was like, yo, man, you ain't, I mean, you got to know where you stay sometime. Even if you come home to New York, you got to go home sometime. He was like, yeah, but I don't know, and I don't know, and I don't know where I'll be. But he was serious about it. He didn't know where he would be. So that was that. Some years later, I'm in Spain, because I left New York, you know what I mean? New York was fronting on me. <laughs> the house scene, anyway, I had to go to Europe, yo, they was calling. So I went over to Europe, and then years later, I was home, and, uh, no, I wasn't home, I was in Spain. And I saw this movie, and what's this joint called? What's it, Deep Sea? Uh, Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue Sea. And I was just going through their video collection because I had nothing to do but watch TV at the time. Going, and I saw this and it said LL Cool J. And now, just, I mean, my world is hip hop, but I'm not in it. So I'm in another world in this time of my life. So I don't really know what he was doing. And he had this TV show here, and I didn't even know about this TV show. So all this time, I mean, I knew he was on Def Jam and he was, you know, boom. But the whole Hollywood thing. I was like, what? Yo, respect, Todd, respect, yo. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. I was the one who told you, you can do this. I was the one that told you, you better do this. I was the one who told you, yo, no, better yet. I was the one who told, ask your grandmoms, can you come out to the jam, because you was kind of young. And I was the one who said, I will have you back in the house at X amount of time. Grandmother, could you let him out, come to the party, hang out, get on the mic, get busy, get loose, and, and, and. And we rolled like that for a minute. And then I had the jet. That's all I have to say.
do. That's all I have to say. LL, wherever you are, I just want to do some remixes, yo. That's all I have to say. I'm saying, this is my little nephew. You know what I mean? I told him the story the other day, and he was like, "Really?" I'm like, "Really, man? That's my ex. He's not like my ex boy, LL." <laughs> so you know, he's producing now, and it's like, let it grow, man. So Columbia Records, whatever label he's on, you know what I'm saying? Put us on, you know, a little remix, you know what I'm Ain't got to even pay up front. Nah, we won't get into the finances because you do have to pay up front. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, come on, it's like, you know, pizza, what's that, right? Yeah. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> anyway, that's all I have to say. So in the ending of this video, one more thing to say. Gave the brother a push, motivation to do, carry on, do what he got to do, blah, blah, blah. Rich ass motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, man, you could at least put me on some remixes. And what I would actually like to do is remix maybe seven to ten of your old tracks and do a new album and just let me be free. You could just send me the palace, yo. The palace. And let's do this. And it'll take you to another level, not higher. That's not what I'm trying to say. Because you I don't think, well, you can always go higher, but the level, a whole nother audience. You know what I'm saying? And for the person, my broke ass, who hooked you up and told you at your age, that age, 13, 14, even maybe 12, I don't know how old you was, it was like, yo man, you got it, you can do this. And I even told him, and all these other people in the room, you like, here. Maybe he knew, maybe he didn't, but it sure helps when an older person who's a little bit into it gives you that push. And my ear, talent scout I am, heard the skills, and I mean it's 20 something years later, give me a remix yo, come on, it's a problem, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, hook it up, and I pass it on to the next man, you know what I mean, it goes on and on and on, man right here, LP3, yo, come here man, come here man, that's all I have to say, that's all I have to say, respect, my man made it, you know what I mean, to the very tippy top, <laughs> I, I made it too yo, no front. It's another world, you know what I'm saying? But I have much respect for him, and the world had to know that I probably was the first person in the universe to give him, from the outside, thumbs up, you got skills, you got to do what you got to do. And also later on in years, I checked two of his records. And in one of his, uh, two of, I don't know what song it is, because I'm not familiar with all the stuff, because if he ain't sending it to me, I ain't buying it. You know what I mean? I, I bought some of his tracks. But he says something about Picnic at the Booker's. What's my name? LL, the record. LL, LL, the record. Picnic at the Booker's. I don't know what track it is, but he says that. Maybe he's talking about me, maybe not. I don't know. But there's another record where he says my first name, too. It doesn't mean it's me, but somehow I think he kind of like, you know, um, yeah, picnic at the bookers. And by the way, there's a man that everybody knows, and I'm going to let y'all do your homework. I'm going to just tell you his mom's name. Do your homework and look up Sedella Booker. <laughs> Some wild stuff going on in this universe, and I'm out. This is for my boy LB3. Put it down, let me know the story. True story of hip hop. That's all I have to say.